Hi everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how to easily split and merge PDF documents using a free PDF editor called PDF Gear. Although this app is completely free, it has all the tools you'll probably ever need to manage PDF documents. And unlike many other free apps, PDF Gear is also ad-free. It has a clean and modern user interface without any annoying ad banners or pop-up dialogues. All right, now let me just show you how to split and merge PDF documents using PDF Gear to see how well it performs. So for this demo, I'm using this fully formatted and styled document, which has five main chapters and several complementary pages in the beginning and at the end of the document. I'm going to extract and split the five chapters and put each of them in its own separate PDF file. To do that, if you have opened the document like I do here, go to the menu bar and click Tools. On the Tools menu, click Split. Or if you're on the PDF Gear's home window, click Merge and Split, and then click Split. You should be brought to the same split PDF dialog, but you will need to add the files to be split manually. We can split multiple PDF files at once, but for this demo, I will split just this one file. Now under split mode, choose whether to use custom range or fixed range. If you select fixed range of say 10 pages, the document will be split into several files where each file will contain 10 pages, except probably the last file. For this first exercise, I will select custom range because I want to split the five main chapters and put each chapter in its own separate file. Now I will need to specify the page range of each chapter on this text box separated by commas. So for chapter one, it starts on page nine and ends on page 12. So now I will type 9-12 here. Then chapter two starts on page 13 and goes all the way to page 29. So now I will add a comma first and then type in 13-29. So we just repeat these steps for the remaining chapters. All right, once you finish specifying the custom page ranges, you may specify the output folder where you wanna put the split files. After that, simply click the split button and PDF Gear will do the job. All right, so here they are, the split PDF files. PDF Gear created a subfolder inside the output folder we specified just now and put the split files in that subfolder which is very good because the output files won't mix with other files. Now, if we open these files, we should see that each file contains only the page range of the corresponding chapter we specified earlier. All right, so that's how easy it is to split PDF document using PDF gear. Now I will use these files to show you how to merge multiple files into one PDF document. So go back to the PDF Gears home window, show the Merge and Split menu, and then click Merge PDF. On the Merge PDF dialog, click Add Files, and then add all the PDF files you want to merge. After that, optionally you may specify the page range of each file that you want to include in the output file. For this exercise, I will include all the pages of each file in the output file. You may also arrange the order of the files by clicking the up and down arrows on the right of each file. This will set the order of the pages from each file in the output document. And then if you wish, you may also specify the output file name on this column. So once all set, simply click Merge. So here it is, the Merge PDF document. Pretty simple, yet powerful, right? So if you are considering to install this PDF editor, you can go to its official website at pdfgear.com and download the installer from there. You can also download its mobile version from App Store or Google Play Store for your mobile phone. All right, so that's how easy it is to split and merge PDF files using PDF Gear. I hope you find this tutorial useful, and thank you for watching.